All right, read with me. The marks on a test are normally distributed, so there's the key phrase for you, to know that our nice symmetrical bell curve and all of those percentages that we just mentioned, they're relevant. So I'm just gonna <coughs> highlight that. They have a mean of 65 and a standard deviation of eight. Okay, so it begins with some nice easy stuff. Let's have a look here. What mark is one standard deviation above, um, above and one standard deviation below the mean. So this is part one. The way I would write this, can I encourage you, I know it's kind of easy just to go to the numbers, but there's going to be lots of numbers here and I want to know what on earth they refer to. So I'm just going to write what it is they're asking. One, this, is, this is the way to before it, so it's not part of the exercise, but I'd love you to work it along with me. Okay. So the mean is x bar, so one standard deviation below that is x bar take away one standard deviation. So I'm going to write that so I know what in my head these numbers actually mean. Uh, we've been told what each of those numbers is. It's 65 take away 8. And we can do that in our heads, right? That's 57, I think. <laughs> if you added 8, which we're about to do. If we go, oh sorry, I've, yeah, no, actually you're right. I've done it the wrong way. That's this one. Sorry, I'm cheating. Um, you're right, we're meant to add for the first part, so I'll go x bar plus the standard deviation. Uh, and this time it's 65 plus 8, which is 73. Okay, so now I know the range from below one standard deviation to above. So now you can see why they talk about, B, like what's the relevance of B? What proportion of students is between these two marks? Well, this is the first graph that I gave you, right? What proportion of students, what percentage is between? 68. Yeah, it's 68%. So I would just say 68% of students. Um, you can also say, because I recognize what's going on, it's um, a Z score of minus one versus a Z score of one. This is written like this. So that's a bit of a weird way to say it, but I want you to recognize it because you'll see it sometimes. Um, I think actually it's less than or equal to. You can see that what this means is if you have a Z score that's between negative one and one, that means you have a raw mark between 57 and 73. That means you're in the 68%. Does that make sense? So sometimes you'll see these, see these weird lesser than, greater than signs. That's all they mean between negative one and one. Okay, then they ask you to go further. They ask you to go further. So for part C... Wait, are they supposed to be the like, Oops, sorry. opposing ways or are they both supposed to be greater than? Oh, right. Um, they're, they're both supposed to go in the same direction because the idea is that for the left-hand side, <coughs> right, you've got Z on the bigger side than negative 1, right? Okay. So it's like negative 1, negative 0.9, negative 0.8, etc. So you're bigger than that. So that's why the greater than sign is on this side. And for when you're comparing it to 1, we mean 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That's less than 1. So Z is still on this side. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, this time for part... Uh, I kept doing this. Um, for part C, they just want us to go further. Can you go two standard deviations away? So this is x bar plus two of them, right? So that's 65 plus what? 16. 16, very good. So that looks to me like it's 81. 81? And for part two, it looks like they want us to go below. So instead of adding 16, I'm going to take it away. Uh, 65 take away 16. That's going to be. If I can do this, everyone should. <laughs> so, well, wait, so that's 10 would be 55, and then another 6 from that is a 49. Nailed it. Okay. Um, so now we can see between 49 and 81, much bigger range. So that's why part D asks what proportion of students is that? It's two standard deviations, so what percentage? 95. 95. Okay. So I'm going to stop there because you get the trend now. How far away do you have to go? So now if a student said, do you see how the Z score is powerful? If from your point of view, 
for your point of view, you find out generally the mean, right? You guys all ask me, what's the average? I know what my score was. I know maybe I got, uh, that's not, that's not Where's helpful. I got 73. And then you ask me for the average and I tell you what the average is. But actually what you should ask me now is what was my Z score, right? Because now you know, all right, how far away am I relatively speaking? In what proportion of the curve am I? Yeah, absolutely.